three, two, one. Well, down here at Royal Randwick with uh, Mr. Nick Ashman. How are we? Very well, Aaron. How are you? A bit cold. Yeah, it's a bit very fresh. Actually. It's starting to get a bit warmer too. So uh, anyway, not to worry. Excellent. What have you got for us this week? Uh, look, pretty quiet morning out here, being Tuesday. Um, this morning we've got the trials on gay food in Melbourne after Bart's funeral yesterday. Um, so uh, we had a bit of a reduced load. Yep. Uh, I'll just go through yesterday a little bit, yep. if that's okay with you guys. Um, Dark Steel, uh, the Colobos Colt. Yep. Uh, he's a really good horse. Um, he just hasn't really shown it yet on the course. Um, either that or he's a complete pretender, but one of the best you've seen. Um, he ran his last 636 one, last 211 one. It was pretty good work. We well, come to the races with a big sprue on the blue, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, I probably didn't help that by pumping him up in the media, but yeah. um, when you see him work the way he does, uh, most of the time they take it to the track. You do get the occasional pretender here and there, but I, I don't think he is that, so uh, I expect him to, to be winning when he <coughs> when we next see him at the racetrack. Um, horse called King Kashasha, King Kashasha, imported yeah. horse for gay. Um, had one start at Hawkesbury one, I think it was a 1500 metre race. Um, I reckon this is a good horse. I'm tipping this to win the Metropolitan at $71 with Sporting Bet. Wow. Um, so, I, well, that's my early tip at the moment, I put my money on, so, um, as much as you can get on these days, but uh, I, I, I like this guy. I like him as a horse. He worked yesterday, one, uh, 1400 and 137, 37, 9 and 12, 1. Just sort of, um, just, that really good work that you like to see gay horses do, just yeah. sort of as she says, shooting the breeze. So. Shooting the breeze. <laughs> um, Z Zeely, speaking of the gay stays, another one that um, uh, ran last Wednesday at Canterbury, just got beaten. Oh, still feeling sick about it. Um, it painful. Yeah, but it, it worked yesterday as well, it worked quite nice. Don't know if they'll run it. Tomorrow, did they accept? I haven't actually, I don't think they I'll did need accept. To check. Um, I've got a feeling it'll hold off and and go for another week or so and then we'll see it pop up possibly yeah. somewhere but it's a sneaky chance of getting into a, a metrop and, and performing okay but I, I sort of like King Kishasa better as a horse. When will we see him at the race? He he's nom, dual nom this Saturday. Okay. Um, uh, he's nom for the Kingston Town Stakes but he's also nom for I think a benchmark 85 over 1800. I don't know which way they're going to go. Would you be expecting him to do anything first start? He's second up. So he's, up, sorry. yeah, yeah, I would be. Yeah, I think he's. I think he's a proper horse. Um, yeah, I think he's just gone out to Hawkesbury for a nice kill. Um, yeah, and he, he'll come to town. He'll be competitive in either one of those races. Obviously, the, the benchmark race he's going to be a better chance in. But um, yeah, I, I think he can hold his own in the Kingston Town Stakes, and I suspect you might um, uh, find another race in between this Saturday and, and the next drop. Yeah. yeah. So keep an eye on him. Um, what else have we got here? Uh, Arm and Paul, yes, so she's still not working as good as she used to. Um, Has something gone amiss with her? Because her first trial was outstanding, then her next two, I think she's trialed three times now, the next two looked very below par. And yeah, flat out. look, it's, it's, I, I, I can't work it out. Obviously her and, and Vancouver's the other one. Um, yeah. He's obviously now out of the, the Golden Rose and worked Saturday morning, was um, pretty ordinary on, in his work as well. So, uh, look, I, I, I've got no idea, but um, hopefully they get back to their best. But whether we see that this spring or not, I don't know. Do we see Vancouver back for the spring? There's whispers around on Saturday that he most yeah. likely is gone. <clears throat> uh, look, I've heard those whispers as well, but I've, as far as I know, it's, they're still pushing forward or, or at least trying to. I can confirm that he's still in work, so yeah. um, he hasn't gone out just yet. Um, but um, yeah, it's just surprising because he was, he was airborne. Yeah, yeah. Three or four weeks ago when we were talking, he was flying in his work, he was beating up the older horses and that, and not just Armand Paul, but other horses, Cosmic Endeavour, who's an exceptional track worker and a, and a very good race mare as well, so, um, you anyway, know, we'll see what happens there. That's, a, that's his problem with the early markets and their horses, and they can go and miss it any morning. Yeah, exactly, so that's the risk you take, that's why you've got to make sure you get overs, and when we did our show last week, um, that, that thing that we do each carnival, like we did, um, that's what I said. I, I thought there's a lot less fat, wasn't there? Yeah, a real lot less fat. So, the other horse, uh, look, this morning, Sky Limit uh, was probably the best of the workers out here. He's yep. over Reach's brother. Uh, he worked really good. And Cape Crusader, remember him? Yep. Um, he's he's come back. Yeah, he's back. He's, they've given him plenty of time off. I'm not sure if he had a setback or what, but uh, he looks really well. 
Yeah. Uh, I only had the first time I've seen him gallop this morning, and I, I suspect if he's had a gallop before I've clocked him, it's only maybe one or two. So uh, I thought he went particularly good for a horse early, early, early on. Yep. It's always good to have a look at them when they first get back in. And if they produce a nice gallop straight away, you sort of know that they're switched on. And, that's good to the racing. This is one that showed good potential early. Yeah, yeah, I don't know um, what guy's got in mind for him. I've got no idea, but he might be, uh, he might be one to keep in mind. Okay. What about Skyler? You mean, we're, uh, he's got to be close to racing now. He's had two trials. Yeah, yeah, hopefully um, he does get to the races still with some freshness in his legs because I think that's when he's at his best. Yeah. Um, got no idea. I haven't spoken to the stable, so okay. there's a few races around, but um, I suspect maybe. I don't know how good they think he is, but you know they've got the shorts and stuff like that over 1100. And yeah, whether he can measure up to that or not, I don't know, but we'll see. All right, beautiful. All right. Well, once again, if you like Nick's tips, go the one to follow. Thank you very much. Thanks.